Today I'll be showing you the very basic procedure of performing CPR. Just in case you ever come across a person that has collapsed on the floor due to a cardiac event. First, let's say you walk into a room and find someone who is unresponsive in the floor. You'll need to check to see if the person is alert by tapping the shoulder and for breathing by looking for chest rise and if he or she has a pulse by placing your index and middle fingers near the carotid artery in the neck as shown. Once you've determined that the person is unresponsive, you need to call for help if in a public building so that they can begin the process of calling 911, retrieving a pocket mask to deliver air, and an AED or automated external defibrillator, which analyzes heart rhythm and determines if a shock is advised. While someone is retrieving equipment, begin CPR by performing 30 compressions in the middle of the chest. Once you've cycled through 30 compressions, deliver two breaths via your pocket mask by placing the mask as indicated over the nose and mouth. Once you have the AED, open it up Place the pads as indicated on the patient's chest and follow the prompts given by the AED. If a shock is advised, be sure to not touch the patient and tell everyone around to stand clear. Once it is safe, press the button on the AED to deliver a shock and the AED will tell you when it is safe to touch the patient and resume CPR. Continue this cycle until first responders arrive where at that time they can take over. It's important to be prepared for an event like this. You never know when you will be the person to help save someone's life. Please visit heart.org for more information about the American Heart Association and to find a CPR class near you.